Hello everyone, it's Mel, and welcome back to more Baldur's Gate. So, I'm getting the impression we are currently trapped on here. Also, um, something you may notice is my UI looks very different right now. I'm trying an experiment with the UI mod. It may or may not stay on. But I want to try it out, you know, and let's see how it goes. You want it, you've got it. So, let's continue in here. Such as taking care of these winter wolves. We're all doomed. God, I gotta turn down these headphones again. I had them on loud for, uh, something I was in Discord, and now I have to turn them all down. What do you need? Alright, everybody get over here and start stabbing. But this mod has some really nice features for my convenience. Like the one I'm really interested in is it shows me how my experience looks for um, what my different classes are. Dang, I actually really need to uh, improve Rel's AC. I really need to knock that down lower. Though, Immowin really needs help too, but like, yeah, um... Rel has one of the higher ACs in the party. That's actually kind of terrifying. Me. Is there anything that looks like a thingy here? Guess we're going up. There is a person. Well, well, well. I sense the ripples, and there you are. But you are something new. Tell me, friend, how did you come to this place? Um... Probably the same way you did. Why don't you tell you me your story and see if it's the same as mine? You are just the latest teleporting fool to be captured. This place seems a magnet of sorts. If you are powerful enough to transport without error across an ocean, you are apparently of sufficient power to be caught and dragged here. It is the very place that does it. It seems to ensnare the energy. Needless to say, leaving the island by magical means seems entirely impossible. You will get used to seabird eggs if you wish to survive. And you've taken the role of Island Greeter? I think not. What do you want? What do I want? What do I want? To be free of this place. It does not matter whether this place is a joke, a test, or an odd phenomenon. I need more power to escape. If you would kindly strip off your belongings, I would be ever so grateful. <laughs> if you want my equipment, you're going to have to take it. Certainly. First you, then the others here. I need all the power I can get, and I don't mind taking it by force. Oh, buddy. Also, where's the real details? I think what I wanted. Tell me. We're gonna do some stabbings. Well, you're gonna do some punchings. What are you in me? Oh, there's three of you. Hey. Yes, Slick is feared. Zan is feared. That is terrible. Uh-huh. Nira. We're gonna do that. <laughs> You're a queer Emma Wynn, you have that. Go, go, go! 
Okay. Okay. Relly Bean, you need healing. I have no one who can heal you right now. That's an issue. What you want? This is gonna be bad. What is it this time? Okay. Your wish. Everyone on this jerk face. Yep. Wonder if that'll help. You rang? Okay, Emma Wynn, I need you to back I'm up, gone. please. Because you are like the last person who should be in melee combat. <laughs> You're a clear fellow. Okay, you're gonna take that. Nira is shielded. Uh -huh. Fair. Okay, that's bad. What you want? Imowen, please kill him. There. You know what that worked. Okay, good Rel can heal herself, thank God. That's all fine. Okay. Okay. Is everyone good now? Give it to me straight. You want it? You got it. Let's. Grab the loot. Ooh, a journal. I look forward to your instruction. Also, Imowen yep. leveled. So, let's level her up. Um, level two spells. That's actually fantastic. Which means let's just uh, let's just you know level two, please. Uh, what's a good one to give her? Because unfortunately, friendly fire is a thing. We're gonna give you glitter dust. Then we are going to quick save, and we are going to take a rest. There we go. What do you need? Don't worry about me. There's a tra there's traps. Your wish. Welp, Rasad. Let's double check your fine traps ability. 
Vine Traps is at 80. I understand. I guess you're on the, uh, you're on trap duty. Actually, let me see my equipment real quick. Uh, cloak of protection. What do you have here? <clears throat> that's invisible. That's invisibility. That doesn't help. What I would love is something that gives me, um... I am prepared. More fine traps ability. Tell Unfortunately... Me. Let's check this container. My potions of master thievery... Rasad can't even use it. Which, anyway, that wouldn't help anyway. So, whatever. Well, Rasad. I look forward to your instruction. I wish thee luck. Please don't get I yourself shall killed. To the task. Because the absolute last thing I want is for you to get killed. Because if I don't find these traps, traveling through here is going to be very painful. Oh, wait. I cannot disarm these. I care not. Give it to me straight. That's an issue. You need only ask. Clan Geddon's will be done. Well, we're going to take care of traps this way then. That was regrets. That was very much regrets. What do you need? Actually, you know what I should do? I should probably check this, this downward way first, honestly. We're gonna deal with traps the most painful of ways. Clan Geddon's will. Be done. Come here. There we go. Come on. Tell me. Don't you know what? Everyone can me. come down here. Clan Geddon's might be with us. There we go. Yeah. Gaining experience relatively quickly, honestly, which is nice. Glad to. I will be so glad, though, when Imowen hits level, um... Level 7 maging, because it'll give her thief abilities back, as far as I recall.
And I'm going to be honest, Yeslik is doing my scouting because he has healing magic. We do good. Tis as my clan was long ago. Come on. Come play with the party. Good there. I'm getting stuck. We're going to take the bottom route first. And yeah, that's the entire reason that Yeslik is my scout, because he can heal himself. And I'm just hoping this... Newcomers, stop where you are. I have questions to pose to you, and you will answer them swiftly and accurately, or you will be killed. I will warn you now that I possess powerful magics and will be able to discern almost any lie that you try to tell. Well, might as well be honest. We're the party of Rel, and we've come to find Chandelure's stolen cloak. You have come to take Chandelar's cloak, eh? Well, he must have given you something to get off of the island. Something I intend to have. Prepare to die, fools. Do you have ankegs? You have ankegs. Give it to me straight. You want it, you got it. So Buddy Boy here seems to be like the Ankeg Whisperer. What is it this time? What do you need? I've got this. Okay, no. Well, no, we really do have to take care of the ant kegs. <laughs> You're a queer. Emowyn, please do that. Zan, give us a haste, please. You rang. Uh, flame arrow. This dude. Okay, more ice wand, please. Uh -huh. Okay. Rasad, I want you punching him, please. Uh, Emowyn. Do you have any other wands in your inventory that could be useful? No, the only other wands I have are wands of fear, unfortunately. Um, no. Okay. 
Okay. Mage is down. Someone leveled, and I can't see who. Okay, yes, like that's fine. Cool. Okay. What is it this time? <laughs> now it would be very nice if everyone would get unupset. Thank you. Tell me, don't worry about me. We're gonna. <laughs> We are gonna yev yevel well. Level yes like up. It's a cleric level, it looks like. Okay, and he can do level four priest spells. You need only ask. So memorizing priest spells, please. Oh, that'll be lovely. Huh, lesser restoration. Oh, there's actually a lot of really nice level 4 spells I like here. Holy cow. But right now, we're just going to rest. As you will. Please, don't kill me. Please, 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 please. Relax. We have no reason to harm you. Why are you here? You weren't sent to kill poor Kuchel? We are merely here to retrieve an item. We'll be on our way as soon as we can find it. Are you not trapped here? I, Kuchel, the scourge of Lakum, the ravisher of Cirque, even with my fell powers I cannot escape. We have our ways, Kuchal. Have you seen a cloak, perhaps? A ward! Of course, my friends! I've been trapped here for too long! Think of my reputation! Kuchal will say, What kind of mystical magic man are you? And I'll say, It's not my fault! It's the stupid ice! And they'll say, You're a loser, Kuchal. A real fool if you catch dri my drift. Can't you see? My reputation! I must have that ward! I must escape! Uh, we can't help you because we need to get out of here ourselves. But it's so cold! Don't you see? It's cold! Why does Kuchal bother with these wretches? Very well, I must have the ward. Give it to me straight. Don't worry about me. Well, that was a trap. Okay, there he is. That was relatively straightforward. Of course, all of course, two of my mages are confused, but. We're all doomed. What are you need? Which means a bit more waiting. Alright. Okay. So we've come around need, full circle to this room. That stung. That actually stung quite a bit. Okay. So now the only way left to go is up that top route. You need only ask as you will. 
And I can go up to here freely because I've already um, dealt with that. Actually, I should bring him back and just rest up the party. Get him back that HP, get him back those spell casts. I should also really see what protection from evil does, but it seems like a good idea. That's dung. <laughs> Been here long? No, and I don't intend to stay here long either. No, no, none of us do. None of us do. Do you think I wanted to be... Do you think I wanted this place? Did you think I wanted to languish here for years? Telen Altrua wants the shining light of Tethir? No, no. <laughs> Not I. Not I! Now give me that wardstone, Buttercup, or I shall pluck your petals and watch ye rot! Oh, well, ain't you a jerk face. Tell me, I've got this. Everyone's gonna come back here, and you're gonna heal yourself while everyone walks. Nira! Get over here. But yeah, Imowen is at least looks to be gaining um, mage experience really quickly. I was told she would catch up very quickly to her thief levels. So that's very good, because I do want her to be able to, like, say, use her bow again. Okay. Give it everybody! To you everybody! It. Okay. Yeah, that didn't work too well, did it, buddy? Also, I have some identifying I can do, actually. What do you need? Don't worry about me. Just get everyone over together, please. Thank you. Identify, please. Identify, please. Okay, a traveler's robe. Little plus one. That's this is another wand of paralysis. Okay. Rest. What are you need? Be glad to. So our friend has been clearly, um, Sending people here for a while. Or at least people have been ending up here for a while. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. Grab a couple pelts. Mm. 
nothing here. Ooh, there is a person. Tell me. Don't worry about me. Now, now, now. Hello there. And you might be who? Another wayward spell slinger looking for a way out, or just another power-hungry fool trying to force the doors from the wrong side. Tell me, warrior, why is it that where whatever you seek is always in the last place you look? Um, because you find it? Huh, the common sense answer in a place uncommon where sense does not rule the day. You are looking for something here, something of power and value. I'm sure I know what it is and for whom you seek it. I do not wish to relinquish it. What have you to say t to that? How do you know these things of me? The others here are like me, in that they do not understand this place. I doubt the place itself could tell you its own purpose were it able to answer questions. Suffice it that I am not so quick to turn to desperation as the others, and I do not fear the unknown quite so much. If this place draws magical energies to it, and I am here at its center, then it draws magical energy to me by default. In time, I will harness it, and in time, I will leave. Already, I know more of things here than any other. I can see things. Things other can, cannot. And what can you see? What is this place? I see why you are here. I see that I have what you seek. I see that we must fight and the victor shall leave. What is this place? Many things. Today it is a dueling pit. Tomorrow it will be a graveyard. Yesterday it was what? I cannot say. If it is natural, it is an abomination. And if, it's, if it is divine, it is utterly cruel. We are all many things, including obtuse and unclear. Do what you will. If I win, I am released. If I lose, I am released. So, um, he died fast. Oh, right! There was a letter I picked up somewhere. Uh, who has it? Rasad. Would that I had more paper to write upon, but much was burned in the haste for warmth. Little there is to document anyway, so I shall leave this small writ for any that might find my corpse, for it is the only way it shall part from me. Know that Andrus does curse you for your life, and that should I return in some fell form, I will hunt you for the sheer spite of you seeing my decimated body. The business of that aside, I hope you who read this have suffered the same fate as I, the indignity of this condition. With all the power at my figures, I must huddle around a dung fire eating seal fat. The forces behind this place have no respect for my stature, my power. I have slain beasts thrice my size with a glance and traveled as a bird over oceans. Here my magic is sucked to the earth and I am held as others are. Some have escaped and I swear I shall hunt them and take the power they must have. To do what I cannot, they must be great indeed. I curse them for leaving. I curse this place. And I curse that I have not the might to follow. And you. Scribble, 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 as every mage must do. These walls will hold your power fast unless I walk right through. A boat I bade from birch and bark, but burned I did at morn. Rather I gather in this held spot than suffer my hands get worn. Fools this place has, and many more to come. I will greet and take what will, and in the end I will have all. Oh, I think so. I mock your prison, Ao, as though you would care to listen. Are you even behind the walls? I see your symbols in the sky, but others too. Mistra, goddess of magic, my magical maiden, why do you treat your sh children so? Do you give the sparkle of magic only so it cannot be used? A lesson in humility for those on the verge of true power? Drop your ro robes and wands and staves or forever be trapped with your self-importance and pride? Perhaps, but I will not shed what I have earned just to walk the skies again. I shall profit from this. I will play outside your rules. This place will bring it all to me in time, though I cannot take it elsewhere. No, you can't take it with you, but you can stay with it and hold it tight. Perhaps with outside help? Ha! None but those who have learned can find this place again, and they will not interrupt the teaching. But I will not bend. I will snap and strike back in time. Humility is so humiliating, and I will not suffer more. Power impotent is still po preferable to power loss. Of course, Perhaps the walls do not listen to such musings, and my writing is pointless. No matter, for tomorrow I shall wipe this clean and write anew. 
My verse gets better. One must have hobbies. Huh. Very interesting. Also, you're gonna learn yourself some stone skin. And you're gonna learn yourself some protection from normal missiles. You need only ask. As you will. Actually, very, very interesting. Give it to me straight. You want it? You've got it. And I guess Don't we're... Out of here? Yeah! We are, in fact, well and truly out of here. You want it? You got what do you it. need? You return! Excellent! And you are little the worse for wear, in a relative sense. An excellent measure of your worth, I think. You have proven yourself quite capable. I will just relieve you of that item and be on my way. What was that place? There are people still trapped on that- well, they're kind of all dead now, but... It is an odd place to be sure. Teleportations are affected most drastically, in effect trapping the occasional passing mage. Those, are there, those that are there will find their way off in time. Those that are not there anymore have found their own way off. I think you will agree that the ones that you met were not inclined to work together and effect their own release. Release. An excellent judge of character in a supposedly natural phenomenon, wouldn't you say? I must be off. Fare you well. Um... What? I kind of want to stab him for sending me to that prison island, not gonna lie. Like, kind of really want to stab him. But for now, I'm going to go to the inn. Hergen would speak at ye, so listen up a moment or two. A merry band of adventure of heroes ye be. Have I got the adventure that'll make ye yearn for glory? I am Hergen Stoneblade, presently rising, residing in Citadel Adbar. Well met. What adventure do you speak of? A glorious adventure, indeed. You've heard of Sterlike's Tower, mayhaps. You mean that piece, of, that place I emptied? It was haunted by me granddad's friend for a time. He went mad, you see. Durlag Trollkiller was a dwarven hero of great renown. Single-handedly slew many a dragon he did. Me granddad was a good friend of Durlag's. They adventured together until me granddad's untimely death several centuries ago. Okay. Me granddad was slain by an evil demon, but Durlag survived. Durlag kept Soul Taker that had been me granddad's. He was going to send it to me mother, but he was betrayed. A sad tale, that. After da Durlag built the tower, his family was replaced by doppelgangers. Durlag killed them all, but was driven mad by the act. He entrapped his tower heavily and forgot about me granddad's dagger. When I heard the story as a youth, I went to retrieve the dagger myself, but was driven back by Durlag's devious traps. If ye be interested, I wish to hire ye to retrieve me granddad's dagger, soul taker, me birthright. The tower has been penetrated somewhat by previous adventurers. I would think that the edge has been taken off the danger. Let's see. I actually kind of found it, but. Well, now I'll talk to you if you want. I've got this. Let's talk with the barkeep. You want some whiskey? Anything good of buying? Anything good worth buying? Anything good worth buying? Well, I won't complain about spells. I won't complain about any of this, either. Potions of mirrored eyes can come in handy. I'm getting that cloak. Staff seems nice. I'll grab the wands and the ring. I'm making myself broke. God, the fact that I could just do that without even thinking about it. That's terrifying. 
The cloak of displacement is a magical item that caused several shuttle shits in the image of its wearer. It has the power to actually shift an individual's image by as much as six inches in any direction from their actual location. Aside from being an effective defense in combat situation, I'm going to give that to Rel. Because in many ways, Rel is the most important party member. So she's going to get that. Um, Zan, I think? No. Emowyn. No. You're going to learn that. And that. You have no cloak on. A wand of frost is going to Imowen. Ah, uh, posh. Okay, no, that's just that. Um, okay, we're going to go back into his inventory. There we go. The steep green stone at the center of the amulet seems to shimmer with an iridescent light, almost as if it has a life of its own. Even without the powerful magics that are bestowed upon the amulet, it would be an extremely valuable addition to any collection. Oh, nice. This is actually really a really, really, really nice pendant, it looks like. Ring of Invisibility, Sand Thief's Ring. Held by a master thief for the better part of a generation, this ring was put to bold use in the markets of Waterdeep. Working in a crowd in broad daylight, the rogue would steal countless numbers of purses from nobles, replacing them with bags of sand so the theft would go unnoticed. His identity was never known, but the name Sand Thief was cursed loudly in its stead. It is rumored he retired, and now lives among the nobles he used to rob. That could come in handy, too. A pillar of flame to shoot out of the sky and strike the cho- Oh, that looks fun. Oh, that looks super fun. Yeah, that's another Wand of Fear. I should probably get rid of some of those Wands of Fear. I never use them. But on that note, I... Oh, let's actually see what you have to say first before I... Will no one take me over? Bah, you don't need me at all. Hey, how'd you like to be supping on fine venison and tipping back the good stuff? I have the key to work wealth legendary if you're up for it. Hear me out and the rest of these sods will be tugging on your coattails for loose copper someday. Tell me more. Ah, so you've adventure spirit in me. No you doubt you've heard of the labyrinth at Durlag's Tower, eh? And how she's been pillaged so often that fat nobles go there for picnics? Well, the tower has, but below the dungeons are untouched. I have a token, a ward to be sure, that gives entry to them. Tis yours if you'll but settle my tab so I can leave this fine place with all my limbs intact. And where did you get this? Like all things, I had an owner before me who does not have it now. Tis none of your affair, what occurred in between. Shall you own it next or no? And how much of the tab? Oh, tis but a meager sum. I'm embarrassed I cannot cover myself. Nine hundred gold and I'm off the hook. What do you say? Uh, that's not a small amount. I'm not paying it. Bah, cowards all still. I'll be here begging for more time if you change your mind. See, the thing is, I've already completely plundered that tower. Don't worry about me. I've got this. What's your tale? Greetings, adventurers. You must excuse me if I've nary a happy word to share this day. There's been a loss in the family, you see. Worry not. Is there anything we could do to help? Unless you wish to search for my errant son, then no. Well, we might be able to help. I have, or perhaps I should say had, a son named Dalton. He fell in with the crew of adventurers from Waterdeep. Dalton was always obsessed with the idea of being a hero. 
Alas, he has neither the brains nor the ability. Such is a mother's lot in life, however, to watch her children perform acts of idiocy despite her warnings or concerns. My poor, my poor boy took those acts of idiocy to the extreme. He and his thick-skulled cohorts took it upon themselves to plumb the depths of Durlag's tower. They bought a war token from that shyster, Galkin, and made ready to leave. Though I begged and cried, Dalton still insisted on going. The band never returned. I fear that they were destroyed by the Mad Dwarf's machinations. That is the tale, sad but true. We'll find him if he still lives. Thank you so much. Um... Something you require? Oh, thank you for rescuing Dalton. He has arrived back here just a few days before you did. The tales he had to tell were quite fantastic. Demon Knights, well, it was nice seeing my son, even if it wasn't for long. Here are some of my savings for your time. Your rescue may have been for in vain, however. Dalton has set off in search of adventure again. The stupid, stupid child. Yeah! Actually, I wonder... Don't worry about me. Since I already took care of, um, I found that dagger. You want it? You got it. Are you the one for the job, or aren't you? Something went wrong. What is it? We retrieved the dagger, but some sort of religious fanatic stole it. It is as I feared. Listen to me. We haven't much time. The ones who stole the dagger from you are the same that released the demon that killed me, Granda. Me, Granda was killed by a Tanari, an an Abasu, to be precise. The one who stole it from you is a member of a cult that worships this beast as a god. Many centuries ago, when my granddad ventured with Darlag, they fell afoul of the Tanari, which had been released on our plane by the cult. Darlag and my granddad defeated the Tanari, though granddad was mortally wounded, and they entrapped the demon's essence in a dagger. My dad later found a way to destroy the dagger and the beast within, but tragedy befell Darlag before he could send the dagger to my clan. You must find the cult. You must retrieve the dagger that I may destroy the beast. If the cult manages to free the demon, it must be killed before it visits destruction upon our land. Go and get the dagger, quickly. Okay. Um, we have our mission. And I'm going to get to that mission next time. Because holy cow, we have a, we have a cult to take down and potentially a demon to slay. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks a lot for sticking around, and I'll see you guys then, alright? Take care of yourselves, alright?